Hey there, welcome back to my bathroom. I'm Rob Rivera and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now if you haven't noticed, beards have been very trendy lately. And I'm not just talking about my stubbly short beard, I'm talking about the ZZ Top long ass beards. And if you're too young to know who ZZ Top is, Google that shit. Now I just happen to know someone who does have one of these long beards, and I think it's cool and everything, but the only thing is, is that sometimes it can really smell bad. Really bad. I mean, it smells so bad, it's like a musty old man. I take that back. It smells like a musty old man's balls. It's like he just rubbed his beard all over his grandfather. And I don't understand it. I mean, your beard is right under your nose. If I could smell it standing next to you and you can't smell it, there's a problem. So today, we're going to make a homemade beard shampoo. So let's get started. Now you might be thinking, why can't I just use regular hair shampoo? Well, the hair on your head is much different than the hair on your face. The hair on your face tends to be a little bit more bristly and coarse and tends to dry out and gets dirtier faster. So we wanna make something that's going to moisturize and cleanse and clean the skin underneath so you can get rid of all that bacteria, nasty, gunky smell that you got going on over there. Now normally I would measure everything out, but because this is a tip predominantly for men, I mean I guess women can do it too, I mean there's bearded women, right? Whatever, we don't judge. But men tend to be a little bit more, I don't know, lazy? You know who you are. So today I'm not going to measure anything, I'm just going to mix everything up in the palm of my hand, make it super simple. The palm you should be very used to using. <laughs> Now the first ingredient that you're going to get is some type of oil. You can get coconut oil, grapeseed oil, or even olive oil. I will tell you that grapeseed oil is the cheapest by far. But today I'm going to use coconut oil because I like the way that it mixes and I forgot a fucking spoon. You do need a spoon. Okay, hold on. But today I'm going to use coconut oil because it's a little thicker of consistency and it helps everything mix better together. Now oil is not only going to moisturize your hair and your skin, it's also going to cleanse the hair and the skin. And coconut oil has an extra benefit. It is a natural antibacterial. Mm. Yeah. Why can't I say that? Because it acts as an antibacterial to kill all the nasty, smelly bacteria that's underneath that beard. That's what we want. And what you're going to do is take about a half a tablespoon and put it into the palm of your hand. Eek, it's hard. That's what she said. The next ingredient that you're going to get is baking soda. And baking soda is not going to only cleanse the hair and the skin underneath. It's also going to deodorize to get off the stank. That beard stank. So you're going to take about less than a half a teaspoon of baking soda and put it into your coconut oil. Now you could use this just like this. Wash your beard like you would normally do. Rinse it off and there you go. But it's not going to create any suds. So if you're the kind of person that needs some suds to feel like you're clean, now you can go take some of your hair shampoo and add it in. And I recommend actually using baby shampoo because it's milder for the face and the hair and it doesn't have as many bad things in it. And if you want to keep it all natural. Shit, that just fell. You could also use like Dr. Bronner's castle soap as well. You're going to add in about a half a teaspoon of shampoo to your mixture. Then you're just going to mix it up all together in your hands. You're going to wet your beard and then rub this sucker in. Now you really want to concentrate on getting down to the skin to make sure that you get all the gunk and stuff out of that beard to get rid of that nasty smell. And after you're done, you're going to take just a wet cloth and try to take as much of it off as you can, and then just rinse the rest off. And that's it, pretty simple and easy, left my beard moisturized. Now if you want to make a bigger batch, you can just double up all the ingredients and just store it on the shelf. It doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything, it won't go bad, nothing like that. And that is my whole tip, I hope that you liked it, make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next Monday for another great tip. Bye!